Hello my Soccer Universe, it's time to make some year and top 10 videos and I'll do one that I have not done last year for the simple reason last year I think I only got 13 jerseys so picking a top 10 was kind of me. This year so far I got 40. I know there will be one more coming for Christmas which will not make the top 10 but it's a cool jersey. Uh, and yeah I told my wife today I'm gonna make this video, I've prepared it, I have now the time, it's a good uh, time to do it however it's also sad because it means I won't get another one and yeah hint 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 I there is one there is one that I've seen I just don't know if it will fit me that would make it straight to number one straight to number one still thinking about it and I probably will do it in such search where I will get it in the new year so that it will be the number one for 2020 what am I wearing? I'm wearing Liverpool. It's a jersey I got this year early in 2019. I actually like it. There are just a few things here, here and there that will not make it into the... I think it doesn't even make the top 20 of the jerseys that I got this year. Um, I'm going to go through it from 10 to 1. Uh, after 4, I will give you a few honorable mentions. And yeah, there are quite a few. It's more or less almost a top 20 that I'm going to give you, but at least those I won't rank. It's damn hard. I was even thinking of making, shall I rank my jerseys and give you a countdown? It's gonna be a hard one. Okay, let's get started. Number 10 is Ireland 2016-2016 home jersey worn at the Euros in 2016. This is the player version. It does not have a sponsor. Um, the crest, yeah, is a little bit I uh, would love it if it was maybe a different color, but as I said, it makes it wonderfully green. I absolutely love this jersey. love it even more because this was my Valentine's present, so that makes it even special. These, of course, are the coordinates of the Aviva Stadium, so yeah. Great jersey. I like the retro look. I like the color. I like the orange heights popping. I like the two-tone um, green with diagonal striping. It's a wonderfully executed jersey. It's really a beauty. Absolutely heavy. Uh, and I needed to have an Ireland jersey sooner or later. Perfect timing to get that one. So that's number 10. Let's go to number nine. That's a strange one because I actually don't like the team that much, but I absolutely love this Manchester City 18-19 away jersey. That's actually on the last day when they won the championship, they wore this one. The moment I saw it, I knew this is a jersey I absolutely love and I would like to have. I mean, uh, the dark blue is already a dead gig of it, I like it, but the way that they put this vault green and the uh, light blue uh, pinstripes in there just make it gorgeous. Yes, I could do without the sponsor, it doesn't bother me too much. Uh, the new crest, I actually I take a liking to it. Um, yes, I grew up with the Eagle crest, uh, but yeah, I think the detail on it is really, really, really nice. So that's a cool thing, but it's more or less the overall design that also goes on the back. The band here, yeah, I don't like that in this version. It seems the city is a little bit off, but yeah, minor potatoes. Really a beautiful jersey. It also wears well. I like the material. Really good. Great jersey at number nine. At number eight, one that I also got early this year, um, and one that finally I ha can say I have a jersey from the 98 World Cup, which I still consider this is my World Cup. This is the one uh, for the first one that I really fully followed. It's the Dutch jersey. This was my favorite team at that World Cup, to be honest. And if you ask me, they should have at least made it to the final. It's a Nike jersey from 98. Uh, I love almost everything about it. Yes, this is now a little bit black and I love my Dutch jerseys uh, more with white, but this actually like the 2010 jersey manages to balance out the black and the white. Uh, we have the white swoosh here. We have a little bit white going on here. This is a classic Nike color. Um, I even like this, this weird stripe here a lot. Of course, I love the orange. The only thing that I'm not so sold on is the panel on the top that has a slightly different orange uh, tone. That's the only thing. But other than that, this is a really nice jersey. I've been wearing a lot. I like the loose fit. Uh, that's just a lot to love about this one. Uh, it's almost my go-to Dutch jersey because I like the way it fits, although I like the 2014 better. But yeah, that's the jersey at number eight. 
Number seven is a jersey I got, um, I think, in spring, and this was one uh, for a long time. I was looking at that one. Shall I get it or shall I get it not? Uh, it's this Juventus. I'm gonna say 91, 92 jersey um, because it has the two. It doesn't have the cocarata here and it has the green. So this is the the, the giveaway. Um, I needed a Juventus jersey to be honest. Uh, that I don't have a Juventus jersey in my collection was kind of always a little bit of a downside because um, except when they got so dominant, I always I never had a real dislike for Juventus per se, basically because of the black and white stripes. That I saw this one. This was for me the Juventus jersey, uh, the Upim sponsor. When I grew up, this was exactly what when I grew up. I mean, when I first became a came soccer fan and infatuated with Italian soccer, the Upim sponsor. I wanted to have a Juve jersey with the Upim sponsor. I remember going in Rome to an Upim store, Louis, looking for this Juve shirt in '93. So uh, there you go. Um, the detailing. On it, the kappa is really nice. I love the color. I would like to have a Milan shirt with that design. And then to top it all off, it's number 10, Roberto Baggio. Yes, it's not in the style that they used back then. It's still very cool. Uh, it's an old jersey. It's a beauty. And I got it for a relatively decent price. I think I want to say 30 euros, maybe 40. It's gorgeous. This is a wonderful jersey to wear and to have. So I needed to get that, 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 that one. Absolutely. So this is my number seven. Okay. At number six, another club jersey. Valencia. That's the 2015-16 jersey. I always wanted to have a Valencia kit, uh, especially in the flag configuration. And I have to say, while the classic one looks cool it has thinner stripes there is something about this one with the blue shoulders and the way they add a little bit color to it that makes it absolutely outstanding it's an outstanding looking jersey crest everything about it i mean even the tail with the striping is really 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 cool there's one downside that maybe you can tell that i am not so happy this is more a darker yellow and then you have the bright yellow there's one color one shade of yellow too much on this jersey on the back i have feguli because that's how classic soccer shirt sold it um and that was the only way i could get this jersey i'm fine with that i don't uh, need a like or dislike him so uh i'm fine it gives it some extra edge of course having no sponsor is a big plus and neither having the bean sponsor that was here on the bottom that you could get in, in addition it's a very clean jersey I absolutely love it. It's strong colors. Um, probably my favorite La Liga jersey that I have. I have to think about that. I really have to make a counter. But this is an absolute gorgeous beauty. You have all the main colors and even the shades are the right ones. I uh, love it. Absolutely love this jersey. Then what can top this jersey? Well, at number five is probably what I would say my favorite club jersey of this 2019-20 season the current Milan home jersey uh, you saw my video with the count counterfeit this is what I, I got I got for my birthday um, that we are in 2019 and can get a jersey that has the sleeves without you know also the sleeve stripe in a classic way just attached to it was already a big sell the thin stripes that remind that is in um, remembrance of the 1969 European Cup final that Milan won is an added bonus. I like the simple black color, just some few white applications. It's a super classic look. That the crest here then is also kind of a plastic one, as you saw in my unpacking video. Adds to it. I need to make a specialized video of, on it. Uh, I like the material. I think there's almost nothing I do not like. I absolutely love this jersey, even down to the to, to a devil. The only thing is, my when you ask me to make a perfect million jersey, I would choose wider stripes. But the thin stripes, it's a gorgeous look. It's a gorgeous look. Um, then they made this anniversary jersey that looks very, very similar, just with golden applications, although there are quite some differences if you look closer. But on the other side, I have to say, this one I like better than the anniversary jersey. So 
very much top five. As you can tell, we, okay, we were quite club heavy here. Uh, there will be a lot of national team jerseys now that I just like a tad better. But let's go to one. Number four. Yep. Nigeria. Um, yes, it's the 1819 version since I have the tag here. This is the 2019 version of it. Uh, one of the best shirts of last year's World Cup and one of the most adventurous shirts. I needed to have it. I needed to have it. I first got a counterfeit. Took me a long time to absolutely make sure that it was a counterfeit, although I had the inkling at the, at the beginning. And then I saw it, this one for 60 years, and I said, you just gotta get it. It's a very well made jersey, like this Manchester City jersey. I like this Nike material a whole lot. Um, the pattern, the light green is outstanding. The patterning on the sleeves, um, the Nigerian flag on the, on the back. That's maybe the one thing. Nigeria has this darker green. Why do we make it so light green? But on the other side, isn't it a gorgeous jersey? Absolutely. This is one of the must haves. Uh, when I, I, you know, I like African teams, I started really collecting this year African teams. So this gotta be in there. I don't think there's a Nigeria jersey that I would choose over that one, to be honest. So yeah my number four that I got in the year so there must be some amazing jersey you would say um, that I got well I would agree with you but first honorable mentions and we're gonna go through this first the one club jersey and then all the national team jerseys in alphabetical order the next one is an honorable mention because I got it late but uh, once I had it I it was a last second thing it's this is Crystal Palace shirt 15 16 I think um, it was a really a last second addition, but I have to say when I got it, I love the stretchy material of this one. I love the look, the Eagle logo. I never really, is gorgeously made. This, this is a really well made jersey. I actually was going between this and the Lazio jersey I got, that is right here. I have to say, um, this one actually is a bit cooler even, although the Lazio jersey is a classic look. Uh, I have to say the Lazio jersey. Uh, the Crystal Palace jersey and I almost wouldn't have gotten it <laughs> I think I like this better don't ask 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 it why it's just uh, it's also a half half look that I didn't have much I mean the sponsor is crazy but it, it's not intrusive in any way really cool jersey really nice fit it's very snug fitting I absolutely love this one so that's one then um Bulgaria is another honorable mention um with the lion crest here i need to have this one i actually love the pattern i love especially the collar and the sleeve cuffs the red on there great looking jersey got this in bulgaria uh there's a lot of uh, things to love about this one i'm happy to have that one another player version that i got is this burkina faso jersey it doesn't make for much but it's a, such a fun material just see how stretchy this whole thing is i mean i should show it you on the kappa logo uh, see how this can absolutely stretch out and it's very very pleasant to wear I can understand why athletes like to have those tight shirts that are so stretchy uh, the crest is uh, solid but there's, there's so much to love about this one uh, the design is not the greatest one I would like to have one of the Puma ones where there was actually the horses but overall pretty awesome jersey that I love um, another one, this is a classic that I didn't make my top 10 is basically down to because it, it doesn't really fit me, it's a medium. But the West Cameroon shirt, I mean, that's one of the classic shirts uh, of all time. And I got it for seven euros. <laughs> I still cannot believe it. Yes, it is a little bit. I mean, when I wear it, it actually looks all right, I gotta say. But it, yes, I should, it, I should have at least a large, but still, great jersey wonderful to have it another honorable mention from last year's world cup this columbia away jersey i love the color combination i never thought i would get a columbia jersey this way and it's only my second most favorite columbia away jersey but i think it's a great one i need a yellow home jersey looks absolutely gorgeous uh very well made jer jersey has to be in there we have two more honorable mentions the other player version, but not a tight fitting one. This Ghana away jersey from 2014 World Cup. I mean, look at the pattern in there. 
Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I love this. This gives me the entire African feel. Uh, and then just a little bit color on, on, on the side. Totally love this one. Um, and a last honorable mention. This was also one that I got for, I think, for 10 euros, this Iceland jersey. Um, yeah, this was on my list for a while. I really like it. I'm happy to have it. Just have to say. I even got on board with this uh, fade here. Uh, there's just something about it, the colors and so on, that's absolutely nice. The color is a bit weird, I have to say, but it's a great jersey. Okay, done with honorable mentions. What are my top three jerseys for tooth that I got in 2019? Uh, I have to say for number three, I had the choice between three, but I chose that this is the best looking one, the Lusk European Away jersey. I wanted to have new Lusk jerseys, especially since they have the new logo and make them themselves. And I could have chosen the white one with the Champions League customization or the pink one to a lesser degree. I chose the black one because I think this is the one that looks most Lusk to me. Um, I got it full customization with respect and the Europa League logo that my mom, I got the logos and my mom sold, sold, sold it on. I absolutely love this design. It's very clean. You don't get, I mean, if you buy a regular league last jersey, you get an, a monstrosity with sponsors back and forth like crazy. So I was actually not looking forward to get one of these. So when they came out with the European jersey, where we have only two sponsors on there, this one and this one, it's all smaller. That was for me a get go. I always wanted to have that. They then played so well. That's a, that adds to it. Also, stretchy material. It's really nice to wear. Great jersey and also not that expensive. Lask is selling those for. I think this was fifty. They're selling those for, and that's the regular price. Good deal. I, I, I would say maybe I should have gotten a number back on there, but you know, it's fine. It's fine. I have one on the white jersey. So that's my number three. Uh, very sound sentimental, but I absolutely love that Lusk pull out really nice European jerseys. Number two, and now we're getting into the really cool ones. In the really cool ones. Number two, I got this. It would have arrived on the day of the AFCON final. I got it one day later. Senegal, home jersey for 2017. My favorite jersey from 2017. That lion awesome that material super light super light very well done everything about this is is quite cool look at the tag here but the design outstanding we can debate do we need the green sleeve or not but uh, everything st starts and stops with this lion and then the new senegal crest in there i mean just adds to it this is one of the coolest jerseys that has been issued at roma so it's also a company that i don't uh, had a jersey yet and yeah this was a jersey I've been looking at for over a year to get and then I said Senegal is in the final I need to make sure I have an Algeria jersey I need to get a Senegal jersey and it was always shall I get the one from the World Cup or shall I get this one this one is so much cooler so God, I had to get this one this is just outstanding what can top this one my number one jersey and i can also say this is the number one jersey for the year 2019. mali away jersey 2019-20 uh there are multiple things that make this the number one jersey first of all the design i mean that eagle that crest that brand airness absolutely amazing then look at the Pattering on there, so it's kind of white silvery, which makes it even cooler. Uh, it looks completely different. Um, I love the one thing is maybe here the wing stops and then they make it on the back again. This is maybe the one design flaw, but is this such a great looking jersey? And then the way I got it, I mean, you don't get this in your regular stores. Uh, I was looking for a long time, how do I get this? And you look for it, look for it, I cannot find it. Uh, you can find uh, Chinese knockoffs uh, very easy, which I knew this is not the right thing. Until I got the idea, well, for Nike jerseys, there's a Nike store. For Ernest jerseys, there should be an Ernest store. I found an Ernest store, although it's not that easy. 
and it's all in French. Fortunately, I speak a modicum of French. So I could order it and I got it and it arrived and it's gorgeous. The one thing is this is an XL and it's tight fitting on me. So uh, they're a little bit smaller. <sighs> My favorite jersey of the year, 2019. And I have it. The yellow one also looks nice. I think the white one looks even better because the colors pop so, so much more. So there you have it. These are my favorite jerseys that I got uh, this year. Let me know what you think about them, which ones you like, how would you rank them, re-rank them or whatever. Uh, or if you've seen my packing videos, which ones would you put in there? Because I think I got quite some nice ones that I, some of which I haven't even mentioned. Yes, it was national team heavy because I like national teams more uh, to collect, to be honest. But I, you know, I, at the moment I'm branching out a little bit with um, club teams. Again, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these. There will be more top 10s coming up uh, for sure. Top 10 jerseys, top 10 moments. Those I have planned and then we'll take it from there. And with that, talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.